Hey, good morning, good day, whatever. Greetings, everyone. It's um, about 7.30 in the morning, Central Standard Time. It's the 12th of March, 2024. And uh, yes, yeah, so this goes public at, what, 4.30 Central, Central Standard Time. So if, if things are missing that erupt after I finish filming, hey, well, get to it in the chat stream. Uh, so yeah, just the legalities. Remember I'm a clairvoyant, clairaudient. So everything is for entertainment purposes only. Do your own research, form your own opinions, and uh, let's just get going. I've got a lot of stuff I have to get done today. So this is why I'm up super early so I can crank this out and then focus on everything else. Um, first off, it's like, um, we want to send condolences out to Eric Carmen's family. I mean, it was announced today that he passed away. He was 74. Uh, some people may not remember, but he was, he was the lead singer of the group called the Raspberries. They had the, one of the big hits was go all the way. And, uh, his solo stuff. I mean, he had, he sang, Remember the movie Dirty Dancing, the song Hungry Eyes? That was Eric Carmen, and another one of his solo hits was All By Myself, and another one was Never Gonna Fall, Fall in Love Again, so. Um, for a lot of us, the 80s were a big deal, and so was that movie Dirty Dancing, so we've lost Pat Swayze, and now we've lost Eric Carmen, who provided one of the main hits from the soundtrack. So things are starting to catch up with us. We're like, who's next on the list? But hey, condolences to Eric's family. And uh, um, I hope that nobody has to pry too deeply into the reasons why he passed away. Just let, the, let him rest in peace, okay? Just like right now, we should be letting the royal family rest in peace because I think most of the nonsense about the picture of Catherine and the kids has been dug up by the Henry and Rachel squad. And here, most of those women are very pro-choice, so they want complete and confidential health care for themselves, but they're not allowing to have Catherine the same, same right. Just like Henry and Rachel send out obviously manipulated photographs all the time. So now they're jumping all over Catherine and William because, okay, so maybe they did have to touch up something. Maybe one of the kids was given a not so great look. So yeah, they had to do a little bit of photoshopping. At least they're admitting it. Yeah, we did. We had to do a little bit of tweaking. And it was... William behind the camera, not Catherine this time. So, hey, William's a pilot. Catherine's a photographer. So, just let it rest. It's like, hey, she got something out. Le leave her alone. Let her to continue to heal, recuperate in peace and quiet. So, he, Henry and Rachel people, just stuff it for a while. I mean, okay, yeah, so you're getting bashed because the shit she, Rachel pulled in Uvalde. And FYI to these other yahoos, they're saying, oh, it's an hour from, from Austin, Texas to Uvalde. I'm like, yeah, if you use a chopper or, or a jet, it's actually more like a three, three hour drive. Yeah, I've been in San Antonio a lot. I've driven from Austin to San Antonio. Depending on traffic, it can be anywhere from one to two hour drive. Three, if there's an accident on 35. 90 minutes if you take the tollway. And you're doing 90 miles an hour on the tollway, Texas tollway. And then it's another hour from San Antonio west on I-10. So it's a good three hour drive. And um, so... The nonsense that they pulled, that Rachel pulled in Uvalde is disgusting. 
I keep looking around. I'm waiting for McConaughey to say something, but he hasn't said anything yet. But I'm sure he will. Uh, something else that everyone has to get aware of. <clears throat> for those of us here in the U.S., um, make sure you call your Congress and Senate senators because tomorrow there comes a vote that will outlaw basically TikTok. You know that uh, social media app that the communist Chinese use to steal everybody's data and to spy on everyone who has it downloaded into their phone? Yeah, when I got my new phone, the TikTok was pre-installed and before I even put in, switched out the SIM cards, first thing I did was delete it out of the phone. Yeah, I deleted a lot of social media apps out of this, out of this phone that I had to buy. Okay. I, I basically it's talk and text. That's it. That's what I keep, keep on the phone. I don't, I get rid of all the other applications. It's, I don't need them. I don't want them on my phone. And most of these kids, oh, they're a TikTok influencer. They're getting money. Yeah. They're being paid by the communist China, they're an employee of the communists of the Big Red Sea, and they don't realize it. And the Big Red Sea is tracking every single place they spend their money because these kids, these fools, put so much on their cell phone that I see them all the time walking around with the phone in their hand, and I'm like, I am tempted so often just to flip their hand so they drop and lose their phone. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, folks, don't you get it? If I'm out and about, my phone is like turned off in the bottom of my purse or my pocket. I don't have it out. I have a one of these jobbers. And yeah, I have a lot of stuff that I've purchased. I've purchased CDs and I put them on this little job or two so I can listen to music and it also picks up FM radio. So this is what I listen to. I don't need my cell phone for that stuff. And one day it saw me futzing with this and they go, Oh shit, that's only worth $10. Don't bother her. Save me from getting mugged. Yeah. People have to have the newest phone. Folks delete it. Right, you know what? Write down every single number you got saved in your phone, then go into settings and hit restore back to factory settings and then delete all the crap off of it. Yeah, because the Chinese are watching what everyone's doing. You've got to. And tomorrow there's a vote going off in Congress to ban TikTok nationwide which is a must because, Hey, look, it's, they could probably like that bill that they're trying to pass up in Canada, that if you put anything nasty, sarcastic on social media, they can put, they can jail you for life, put your what lock you away in the gulag for the rest of your life. Think for a minute. If you're saying something that the government doesn't like and you've got TikTok on your phone, TikTok can go into all your other apps and your text messages and manipulate and put something in there, especially if you're in Canada now, that says something nasty or threatening, and it'll look like you did it. But when it, but in reality, it was actually some little hacker over in Red China doing it. So get we need to get rid of TikTok out of every civilized country. I mean, even Kevin O'Leary, the dude on uh, Shark Tank, he goes, oh, I want to buy it. But when you listen to him, he says, well, I'll still allow the Chinese to have about 30% ownership. Any Chinese ownership, anything dealing with the Chinese and TikTok, you don't want it. Parents, take your kids' phones, delete it, and block it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, the 
It's a tracking device for the communists, so they know where you're at. The other thing, all the it's like on Elon's platform, every morning I go through and I have to block and re I report and block a bunch of idiots. Now I'm getting pestered by idiots who, uh, oh, join me on Telegram. Back, what, 2020? That's when Telegram took off. Well, okay. I was like, okay, let me see what this app is about. And it took me about an entire day to read all the terms and conditions. And then when I realized that the, tick, the Telegram servers were based in Dubai, I'm like, uh-oh, no good. United Arab Emirates. Those guys side with Tehran, the evil empire. So that's the other app you need to get off your phone. Because uh, Telegram is pro Hamas. That's another one. TikTok is communist China. Telegram, the evil empire of Tehran, get rid of it. Take it off. And any of these whack jobs that still are going off on it, they're stupid idiots. I'm like, yeah, I guess there's all these like conspiracy people that, oh, they everything goes on Telegram. And I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. You didn't realize where the servers are based. Yeah, get rid of it. Now, the other thing, something I caught on one of the other foreign news sites. Um, somebody has kind of done an unofficial poll of the Ukraine, the blue and yellow flag country. If they had uh, elections right now, uh, the Z guy would be out on his butt, out on his keister. I guess uh, Valerie uh, Zulini, Zulins, Zulini, he said he would win by about, he would get about 46, 46 plus percent of the vote, where the Z guy would only get like 20 percent. And even uh, the old guy, Poroshenko, would get a a decent almost 10 percent so yeah so the people the ukraine are getting tired of the z guy himself but the z guy to save his own ass is not going to allow elections to happen but people are waking up and realize what an f up the guy is and of course it's like hopefully the november job interview is going to go according to everyone's wishes and uh, the one European leader who isn't giving anything to the Z guy and doesn't agree with the Z guy is Viktor Orban. Well, Viktor came over and um, uh, spent some time with Donald re very recently down in Florida. So right now we've got... Three of the musketeers already in heads of state, and we're, we have to make sure that Donald is the fourth mus musketeer come November. We've got Victor Orban. We've got Javier Millet down in Argentina. We've got Vlad Plut Putin over in Russia, and now we need Donald back in place. And hey, we're going to have the four musketeers knocking sense into all the idiots. That's what we've got to do. It's not, it's literally world salvation. We've got to get, have all these musketeers in place. And I guess, is, who's the guy up in Canada that we've, we, I know we've got to get, they've got to get rid of True Dope up in Canada. And so, um, I hope our friends north of the border have, somebody in mind to slide in after true dope is booted out now okay um i admit it it's like yeah i'm half texan west Tex west texas and stuff and i grew up hearing about what was going on 
in Los Alamos and Alamogordo and White Sands and out on the Indian reservations and stuff. I heard all the stories about the secret base that was there during the 1940s. And I heard a lot. And yeah, when I was little, my dad took me to see, this is where they set off, they did the nuclear, set off the nuclear test, the testing. Well, I guess over in the Northwest section in New Mexico is, is the site of where Trinity, Trinity was the first uh, atomic test, uh, the first mushroom cloud. Well, evidently there's still radiation there and people are still getting, getting sick from cancer. Well, the not local uh, local Navajo tribe is still fighting with the U.S. government for more, more treatment. Well, they, during the Republican admins, they did put through a hey, yearly testing, yada, 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 yada. But you got to remember, people, that every time the Republicans put in to help you with your medical needs, the Democrats took that care away okay and right now we are dealing with I admit it it's like I, I yeah I'm going in for surgery tomorrow normally if the government got their removed their nose from my health care I would have just a minimal invasive epidural injection but since the government now says, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to be allowed to have those, I have to be put under general anesthesia for them to go in and have a full-blown operation instead of an outpatient procedure. Thank you, Barry Sotero, and your fucked up medical care. Start with Billy Boy and Hilly. Barry really screwed it up, and now uh, Fauci and his minions. Heaven help us. Yeah, it's because of the government interference. I can't have something that's a simple outpatient procedure. Now I have to go in and put be put under general anesthesia. Thank you, Democrats. You're screwing things up for everybody. So... Yeah, yeah, I know a lot of other people are having their uh, medical care screwed up by the Democrats. Big time. Yeah, if they had kept Roe versus Wade, if they hadn't ditched it, every woman in the United States would have complete and confidential health care. Ever since that got tossed out, I've had government interference with my health care. So you Bible thumpers, you're to blame. Definitely to blame. So, yeah. Okay, everybody, I'm going to let you go. I mean, this is like, what, one of shorter than normal video, but hey, I got to get stuff done today. And, um, yeah, I will get in contact with, um, I'll probably put something up on the community page when I get home tomorrow. And, uh, depending on how I feel, I just may pop on live on Thursday afternoon, but everyone have a good one and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.